Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to remove the HTML comment that the Yoast SEO plugin injects into all of your web pages, and more broadly, how to remove all HTML comments from your web pages, whether that's from the Yoast plugin or somewhere else. Um, we're gonna do this with something called the W3 Total Cache plugin, and there's a feature in there called Minification. I'll show you how to do that in this video. We're gonna be using my website called Serial.Guru. It's a serial blog that I have. And um, in order to do this, well, first, before we do that, let me show you what the problem is. So if you look at the page source for this website, which is just the the structure of this, um, this page, this actual home page of this website, you'll see right up here at the top that, well, we have this comment here well, about the perf matters plugin generating this uh, local analytics section. And then we also have this site is optimized with the Yoast SEO plugin version 15.6.2. Now, what's the big deal? Why, why do we even care? Why do we want to remove it? Well, sometimes you don't want um, people to know what plugins you're using and comments don't actually do anything. They're good for a developer who's designing your website, but the end user doesn't need to know that. So, um, and also in addition to that, it's, it, it's a very small thing, but this actually takes uh, takes resources to send this line of HTML markup language from your server to your website. So you can save a little bit of space by getting rid of these comments and uh, add a little bit of privacy to your website. Um, so, okay, so this is what it looks like now. Let's go into the WordPress admin dashboard. And I already have the W3 plugin installed. So if we go into plugins, I'll just show you what that looks like. So in case you don't have it, you can get it. It is for free plugin. Um, there is a premium version, but we don't need that. So W3 total cash. If you go into the settings section, you will see that um, I do have minification enabled. Um, and I wanna show you a little bit more about minification. So if you come here to the left-hand side under performance, click on the minify section, you will see that again, we do have uh, minification enabled. And we want to also enable HTML minify settings. Okay, that I'm not sure if that's enabled by default, but if it's not, you wanna come in here and enable it. And you'll see down here that, um, well, we'll look at this in a second, but if we wanna keep a specific comment for whatever reason, we can do that. So let's just first show you now that um, we have enabled HTML minify sec settings, which is gonna take all those comments, strip them out among doing other things. Let's save that. We will empty the page cache. We'll go back to our home page, Serial Guru, and we will look at the page source again. And now none of those comments are there, neither the Perf Matters one or the Yoast one. Okay, so like I was saying back here in the uh, plugin settings, if we wanted to, for whatever reason, keep the Yoast plugin um, comment, we can say this, uh, I forget what, it, let me, I think I wrote it down here. This site is optimized. So this site is optimized. So any comments that start with this site is optimized won't be stripped from your HTML page source. So let's see if that works. So if you save all settings, uh, we can come back here, refresh our home page, and then view the page source. You will see that now that comment does exists. This site is optimized with the Yoast SEO plugin, blah, blah, blah. Um, but you know, the point of this video is to get rid of that. So we don't actually want to add that to the exclusion list. So we'll save all settings, come back here. Uh, probably it's always a good idea to empty the page cache. Um, come back here, refresh the page, view page source, and that comment is gone. So hopefully that's good information for you guys. Um, Take it for what it's worth. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. I use the W3 Total Cash plugin um, on all my websites, uh, not for this purpose specifically, but to enable page cache, database cache, all that stuff. So um, definitely recommend it. I have other videos about it over here, so check those out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.